What will Ontario's vaccine certificate look like? City News has learned that the Ford government is leaning towards a smart health card. Essentially, it's a QR code that you can show on a phone. It can also be printed on a piece of paper. It will be a standardized format that could potentially be used in other provinces and countries. So the question remains, what type of non-essential businesses will you need to show proof of vaccination to get into? The time for a clear, concise vaccine certificate program for businesses is now, according to Ontario's Chamber of Commerce. This is critically important. Details of the framework, including the guidance that goes with it, the ease of implementation, it's going to be equally as important um, as the, the announcement and the system itself. Though there's multiple reports coming out of Queen's Park that Premier Doug Ford's cabinet can't get on the same page when it comes to the plan. Will Ontarians need to show proof of vaccination to enter all non-essential businesses? Will some be exempt? Opposition leader Andrea Horvath expressed concern today that a watered-down policy announcement could be in the works. We don't know what the heck Cabinet's doing. Apparently, there's, they've now sent back another proposal, so that's twice now. So we know that politics is very much involved. A vaccine certificate announcement was previously expected to take place today. However, it was put on hold. For the first time, the Ford government admitted on the record this afternoon that a vaccine verification plan is being worked on when it was confirmed that Ontario's medical officer of health wouldn't be providing his weekly update today in light of the government's ongoing work on a proof of vaccination certificate. He and his cabinet and the bureaucrats are now just dickering over the details of the certificate. U of T politics professor Nelson Wiseman believes there's one sole reason a vaccine certificate program has taken so long. Let's recognize that anti-vaxxers or people who just don't want the vaccine uh, are much more likely to be conservative supporters than supporters of either the NDP or the Liberal Party. And there's a poll out today that confirms that. This is what Premier Ford had to say in July on the issue. The answer is no, we aren't going to do it. We aren't going to have a split society. Face it, Premier, you've got a split society now. Three quarters of the population has been fully vaccinated. One quarter hasn't. Are you going to recognize that split or just pretend it doesn't exist? As for the all-important policy details yet to be announced, or perhaps even decided, Ontario's Chamber of Commerce has this piece of advice for the Ford government. Ensuring that, you know, there's an ease of implementation here, um, that the government is able to afford small businesses, but also clarity for non-essential businesses, particularly those in high-risk settings, on what the rules of the road are actually going to be for them. Uh, in absence of that, we're, we're, we still risk a, a muddled approach here in Ontario. We asked the Premier's office today when we can expect an announcement to be made. They've yet to respond to our question. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.